All right, dudes, big surprise. Reserve's the best map in Escape from Tarkov. All right, I'm pretty sure we all knew that. Streamers say it all the time. Reserve needs to be nerfed. There's too much loot. There's too much raiders. It's too easy to extract. Blah, 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 blah. Uh, they're absolutely right. I have made so much money this wipe. I'm talking about 40 mil, uh, at least purely from playing Reserve. It's busted, dude. The things that made Reserve not good last update have been completely fixed. The long loading times have been cut down pretty dramatically, and more importantly, you have the D2 extract. Now, the D2 extract gets camped super hard, but when you know the camping spots, it's really not at all hard to get out of. So, uh, I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys how to get out using the D2 extract, and then I'm gonna pop over to the dome and talk about uh, the loot routes that I, you, that I like to take. But to get to the D2 extract, you're gonna wanna go to the right of the helicopter in the dorm area. I could call this White Knight, Black Knight, Black Pond, Red Pond, but if you're watching my videos, you probably don't know what all those are, so. Uh, but, so you go to the sign that says Welcome to Hell. I did not get turned around there. Welcome to Hell means you're going the right way, right? You go straight down, and you take your first right. You're going to see all these boxes. Now, when you're doing these loot runs, these crates are insane, dude, like... These crates have so much crazy loot. You can get car batteries. You can get tank batteries. This squash is 15 grand. This candy's 30 grand. Cigarettes are trash. Milk. Always drink milk. It's just insane, dude. So, anyway, you come down here to D2. Take that right. And boom, you can hit the power. Button. Now, when I do these loot runs, I always come in here and check for intel. I find intel on these every now and then. But none this time because... God knows I'm making a video and well it can't be too good now can it so anyway you come down here and you hit this and now you're good to go to the extract so what's the quickest way to the extract just straight across this way remember to loot those boxes if you're feeling cheeky I took a left. Yeah, you take a right. You take a right. <laughs> I took a left there just to uh, make sure you guys know which way not to go. So you go out there. That door. Take a right all the way to the end. Down the stairs. And this, guys, is really important, okay? If you're going to be abusing reserve, you have to know the D2 camper spots, okay? One of them is right here. People love sitting right behind this door. I've killed so many level 32 rats with onesies and vepper hunters right back here, dude. They love sitting here. They'll wait for you to get your footsteps and then just pop out and shoot you in the back. So always check there. Another cheeky spot that I've been ambushed at many times is right here. People love sitting right here. It's a good spot to be fair. I can't hate on that. We go back here. This is the best spot to listen. People, I, I, I love to just sit here and listen for 20, 30 seconds to make sure they're not too uh, antsy. Back there is a room with intel intel folders and uh, a safe. There's also an intel spawn right down there. Always check here, dude. Always check here, bro. I've been killed here so many times since they added this extract. What people will do is they'll sit in this corner and they'll close this door. And it's, it's so hard. Even if you look, like even if you come back here and you just quickly spin around, you're going to miss people. So really be sure to be diligent and check this spot. And obviously close the door behind you here I like to do a little jump here and go ha so this camp in there you kill them some speedy little checks there and now you're at the extract another spot little camper rats like to do is sit right here and uh Well, you get the idea. They like to sit on that rail. I'm not a camper. So anyways, you hit the store and boom. I'm gonna leave here. Now you consistently know how to get out of the best map in the game. So let's go up to Dome and talk about just what makes this map so, so good. All right, coming up to the Dome now, bros. Oh, people like to uh, sit in this tree now, by the way. 
if two people are in a team, one can boost the other into the tree and you'll never see them. So always check that tree if uh, you're going to use that extract with Red Rebel. Let's just get up to the dome here. Oh, I can sit up here. Alright, so these are the keys that I always bring to reserve, right? Now, with these keys, I can bring a squad of four of my friends and we can pretty much all fill up pilgrims. And I know that sounds ridiculous, but that room has a absolute ass load of military loot. I'm talking grenades, I'm talking military circuit boards, I'm talking ammo, everything, all right? Then back here, you got a literal gold mine, all right? I'll put some footage up now of me looting the, uh, the bunker down there. There are four gates down there and they are overpowered as shit. The keys are not that expensive and it's absurd. You just straight up loot those and you can almost just wait for somebody else to pull the bunker door extract for you and you literally just take 15 steps and boom you're at the extract it's absurd so you got tons of medicine and food and uh like uh what do you call it like generators you know type loot back there uh miscellaneous loot i should say back there then back here you got a uh, computer you got computer spawns in this room with all uh, along with all these dude do you see the pattern here do you see all this loot there, there's there's so much loot on this map, all right? In here, you got graphics card spawns. You got military, like more military loot. So much. Don't even get me started on the dorms, dude. If you're low on ammo, just go to the reserve dorms and just start picking BT ammo. You will have so much BT ammo, dude. You won't know what to do with it. It's how I've been making all my money this raid. I don't even buy ammo anymore. I literally just throw on a, a, a rig, go to these, loot some roofs, go to manhole extract, and boom, you have like enough ammo for a whole day worth of playing with 10 minutes it's absurd uh like i was saying earlier dude the reason reserve is not or, or was not strong last update was because it was so hard to extract you basically needed a red rebel now fuck a red rebel you don't need it it's completely completely optional i like it because i like to be able to loot the uh the bunker and then be able to hit the extract from my boys so they can just leave but other than that, just use D2 like I showed you earlier. It's insane. Just run to any any building, fill up a bag, and go hit D2 and leave. And just think about it like this. Even if you die, who gives a shit? These runs are going to take you 5 or 10 minutes. It's absurd. And even if even if you're not doing quote-unquote loot runs like that, there you are going to have so much good loot at the end of a 50-minute reserve run. It's insane. Between the raiders, all the spawns, and the scabs that are going to run around and loot for you and die... Uh, in stupid ways Ugh. I, I'm waiting for reserve to get nerfed I've heard landmark I've heard no food after midnight and I've heard willers all say that reserve needs to get a little nerfed because it basically makes makes all the other maps uh, irrelevant so anyways guys thanks so much for watching my name is Barack Age go out and play some reserve I try to keep this short and sweet because I uh, I don't want to just go out and show you guys you know, me picking up loot and stuff. I figure you'll get enough of that on your own while you're grinding your ripples. But I really appreciate you guys watching, dude. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you don't. And, uh, yeah, my name is Barack Age, and I'll see you guys in the next one.